Hello, in this video we're gonna be working on clans and war system. So just like the previous videos, there is a file in the description that you can download. Let me extract it. There is also the source code of the entire project that you can download. So let me open this. Let's start by importing the SQL to our database. To do that, let's go to our database. Here I am going to select my database. Now I am going to select all the tables and delete them. Now I have an empty database that I can just go to import section, choose the file and select the SQL file and now we can click import. As you can see I have added a few new tables like clans and clan join request, clan wars and clan war attacks. There is also a few new columns in the account like name clan join timer, clan ID, clan rank, and war ID. Now let's go back to the folder and I'm just going to delete that. I have a bunch of images here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop them to my sprites folder. So let's do that. Now I am going to select all these images and choose sprite 2D as texture type. And I'm gonna click apply. And let's go and start changing the scripts. First, I am going to delete that and I'm going to start by the data. So I have made a few changes on the data. I have added a bunch of variables like maximum clan members, number of clans per page in a list of clans, minimum clan name length and the price to create a clan. Also, the ranks that have permission to edit the clan. Also, I've created a join type, clan list, clan, and a bunch of other new classes that you can take a look at. So first, let me select all the contents. So there is an easy way to select all the contents. You can just click at the start of where you want to select. Then you go down there at the end. You're going to hold the shift key and click at the end of where you want to select. It is going to select all of it between those two points. I am just going to copy that and close this script. Now here in the server side in the data class, I'm going to select all the content and I'm going to remove it, replace it with the content I have copied. So that is for the server side. Now let's go to client side. In the script, there is a data class. I'm going to select all the content remove it and replace it with the new data so that is going to take care of the data now let's go back and i'm just gonna delete that there is three scripts that we need to import to our client they're not for the server they're for the client only so let me open the client here in the scripts ui i'm gonna drag these two and I am going to go to the scripts and drag the tools to my scripts. Now we encounter a bunch of errors that we can take care of. To resolve these issues, we need to create a bunch of new request IDs. So I'm just going to copy the first one. I am going to go to the player script. And here in the request IDs, I am going to add this one as a new request ID. So let's go and bring the other ones. This is also open clans. This is get clans. I am going to copy that. Bring it here. This is going to be number 16. And let's also bring the join clan. And leave clan. And there's also get clans, which we already copied. Now let's go and do the edit clan. And the last one is going to be create clan. And it's going to be number 20. And I'm just going to copy this request ID, go to the server. Here in the terminal, I am going to replace it with this request ID.
so that should take care of that let me just delete these three and finally the functions script let's start by database in the database there is a bunch of new functions let me collapse them all well the first one get player data async already exists so i am just going to cut that go to the database and find get player data async i am just gonna remove that and paste this new function so that is for that one but the other ones all of them are new so i am just gonna select all of them cut them go to the end of the database script and i'm just gonna go and paste them right here and that's it that is our database class now let's go back to the functions and i'm just gonna remove that we have two more regions to cover this is for the server terminal and receive packet it is commented so don't copy that comment sign just select from here till here and this is for the server let's copy that go to the terminal here in the receive packet we can just add it to our request ids here so that is for our server now we can go ahead and delete that and here it is for our client so i'm going to select that and maybe cut it it is for the player script in our client so let's go to the client here in the player let's find receive packet and add it to the end of our request ids so here it is i am just going to paste that now we have copied everything and everything should work just fine let me close this functions save everything else and let's go to the folder and delete that one as well and let's go back to the server and go to the database now let's find a function called place building async so here it is i am just gonna open that up and let's get down here now in this area when we have a if condition to check for the limits of the building i'm just going to add a new condition saying limits equals to null and i'm gonna add the or condition so that is a small bug that we can fix by doing that and now let's go to the client and we can do a few small adjustments let's go to the ui and in the ui units training let's find the update function here instead of this line of code so i'm gonna remove that i'm gonna say bar fill amount is going to be one and i'm going to say player dot instance dot rush sync request there's also another small problem here in the ui main let's go to the set status and here i am just going to add an else we can also say player dot instance dot rush sync request so whenever in the ui main we are going to set the status to true we want to rush the sync request now let's go back to the client i have noticed something that here in the prefabs in the buildings some of the buildings ids has been changed for some reason so make sure to double check the ids so let's say for example this canon has been changed to wall i want to change it back to canon the same thing for the other buildings and this wall as you can see it's been changed at that so i'm going to change it back to wall also let's go to the game scene and here in the canvas in the shop we are also going to check the buildings in this list so we're gonna check to see if the id hasn't changed as you can see canon has been changed to wall and wall change to that we are gonna bring them back to the original id i think it happened because we added the dark barracks in the previous video to our enums list and it kind of misplaced some of the ids 
So while we are here, let's actually duplicate one of this and create the castle. So that is going to be our castle. Let's change the ID. And this is in the shop elements, buildings, and we can just change the button text to castle. Now that's good enough for that one. We should also create the prefab for this building. So let's go to the prefabs buildings and I am just going to use one of these prefabs as an example. Let's just place the cannon somewhere. I'm just gonna change the name to castle. Change the ID to clan castle. And let's change the color to make it separate from others. I'm just gonna make it blue and now let's go to the prefabs buildings and make a prefab out of this one and let's delete that and now we can go to the main inside the canvas and here in the building prefabs we can just add the castle and now we can go to the options here we are going to enable the elements there is a bunch of buttons let's go to the 2d view and we can add the clan option here to our building options so i'm gonna duplicate that one it is going to be button clan and i'm also going to change the text to clan and now let's select the options here in the ui building options i'm just gonna create a rect transform to the clan panel and another one for the clan button so let me save that go back to the ui and now we have a clan panel which i am going to assign this one and a clan button which is going to be this one so that is for our options let me disable that one and now let's go to the script camera controller let's take a look here on the screen clicked we have a place that is going to determine the click on the buttons area here it is i'm just going to create a new else if so let me copy that paste it here so this is going to be clan button and this is going to be ui clan dot instance dot open so whenever we click on the clan button the ui clan instance open is going to be called now let's go back to the ui buildings option and determine when we are going to show the button so i'm just gonna copy that line and paste it here just gonna remove that second condition this is going to be clan castle that id and this is going to be clan panel so only when the building is clan castle we are going to show that clan panel which contains the clan button now the easy part is over the hard part is the ui so let's go to the canvas and i'm just gonna duplicate one of these panels let's duplicate search just gonna duplicate that and name it clan and let's remove this ui search from it and go to the ui select this one and attach ui clan and let's expand this of course that is going to be elements and we don't need to this one so let's delete that we do need the close button so first let's enable this and we are going to assign the close button and that is just our background you can choose any background you want change the color or whatever so now let's create an empty game object here panel clans and i'm gonna maximize this to fill the parent set these guys to zero and let's duplicate that and duplicate it again now we have three panels this is going to be panel create and this is going to be panel let's say profile and now let's assign them here the list is going to be panel clans the profile is going to be panel profile and this is going to be create panel so every one of them has a bunch of variables there's actually a lot of variables that we need to create ui for them so let's start by the clans 
Of course, if you're not in the mood, as I mentioned many times before, the source code is in the description. So after I finish this video, I'm just gonna export the entire source code and put it in the file that you can download in the description. With that, first we need a list. Let's take a look at the lists here. We have a buildings list we could use. So I'm gonna take that from the shop and let's paste it here. I'm just gonna put it in the clans. This is just going to be list and it has a scroll rect attached to it. I'm gonna uncheck horizontal, change it to vertical. And let's take a look. It has a viewport content. And let me just remove all the contents. And let's take a look at this one. It has a horizontal layout group, which I am going to remove and replace with a vertical layout group. I am going to check the width. And in the content size fitter, I'm going to change that to unconstrained and change this one to preferred size. Let me set these values to zero. And now let's change the bounds of our list, which I am going to select. And I think something like this is good enough, I guess. So let's bring it down. And I am going to change this values to zero. So this is our list. Let's create an element for it. I'm going to use an empty game object. This is going to be UI clan item. So I'm going to attach that. So UI clan item script. So let me rename it. Let's change the height to something like that. And here I'm going to create a UI panel and let's change the size give it an offset from this side and maybe a little offset from down there and this should be fine and of course i am going to add a button let's say button and now let's select this so this is going to be our but now as you can see there is a bunch of texts and two images so let's start by the images inside this panel i am going to create an image this is going to be our icon mask so i am just gonna drag it somewhere around here okay that should be good enough well actually we could create an empty game object and call it icon place this icon which is an empty game object to this. So let's say that is our icon. Let me change that to zero. I'm gonna put the mask here. Let's rename it to mask. And I'm gonna make the mask fill the parent. So that is our icon. This is our mask. Let me duplicate the mask. This is going to be border so let's go to the sprites i have the border which i am going to say this is not a raycast target and it is preserve aspect the same thing for the mask this is not a raycast so let's bring the mask and let's preserve that and inside this mask i am just gonna create a new image this is going to be background just leave the image empty, but I'm gonna remove that checkbox for the recast target. I am also going to fill the parent. And let's duplicate this one, change this to pattern or icon or whatever. Let's just say icon. And this one can also be anything. Let's just assign a pattern, for example, pattern number three. And let's change the color a little bit. So as you can see, this is the background color of our banner, which we can change the color to any color that we want. This is the pattern or icon that we can place on our banner and also change the color to anything we want. And I'm going to select the mask here and let's go to add component. I am going to add a mask 
and as you can see it is just going to remove the extra areas so now we have a banner now let's select ui clan item this is going to be icon and this is going to be background so now that is for our icon now let's create a text for it let's just change this to name this is going to be the name of the clan i am just going to bring it here and let's change these values to zero this is going to be clan name so that is our clan name you can increase the text size or change it to whatever you want let me just duplicate this this is going to be trophies which we can just put it here as the number of trophies this clan has let's set it to zero maybe change the text size and i'm just going to duplicate this this is going to be the rank of the clan so I'm just going to bring it at the end of our list item. Let's just put it here and let's set these values to zero. And let's say that is the clan rank, which I am going to increase the size. And let's select this one and assign the values. That is going to be name text, that is going to be trophies, this is rank. Of course we have a lot of free space, but we'll find the new stuff to put here later. But for now I think this is good enough. So this is our UI clan item. But before we make a prefab out of this, let's actually select the content, change the pivot to 1 in the Y axis, and that should make a list. So I'm going to go to prefabs, make a prefab out of that one, and let's just delete that. And now here in our clan, in the clan's list section, this is going to be the parent, and this is going to be prefab. We need a bunch of new buttons and a text. So let's start by create button. So basically we need a button, so whenever we click it, it is going to show the page when we can create a new clan. So let's name it button create. I'm going to put it directly under the clans panel. So this is going to be our buttons, let's put it here. Of course you can put it anywhere you want, the design is up to you. So I think that's good enough, let's change this values to zero. And I'm going to select the text, maybe increase the size, and say create clan. And we can also change the color if we want to. And maybe this one to this. Okay, that is our create clan button, which we can just simply assign it. And now I'm just going to duplicate this button, maybe bring it here. Okay, let's zoom a little bit. This is going to be a button here and let's set this to zero. So this is going to be button last. So let's change the text to this and maybe change the color to something else. And I am just going to duplicate this. This is going to be button next. Let me set this to zero and button next. And let's change the text to this. And now let's duplicate this one as well. Bring it maybe here. And I'm gonna set this to zero. This is going to be button previous and let's change the text to this one, duplicate that. This is going to be button first. I'm going to move it right here and let's set this to zero. Maybe change the text to this and I'm going to copy this text, paste it here. And we can just change it and bring it over here. 
and we can just use this as our page text let's say 0 from 0 and I'm gonna rename this to page now let's select the clan and start assigning the buttons this is next button this is last button this is the previous button first button and of course the page text so that's it for our clans panel now we need to take care of the create panel so to do that let's go to the create panel and create a new ui input field and it's going to be input field name so i'm just gonna disable this panel clans and let's take a look this is our input field i am just gonna bring it somewhere here So this is going to be our clan name let me expand this go to the text area the placeholder is going to be clan name and i'm going to change the text let's say to 50 and let's see we can just change the text to 50 as well and let's select this to see which options it has and we can just change the character limit to any number we want let's go with 20 and that is our input field now i need two buttons let's just copy the create button from our other panel that we just created i'm just gonna paste it here this is the create button i'm just gonna bring it down here let's set these values to zero so this is going to be button confirm and let's change the text to confirm and we can just duplicate this one this is going to be button uh, cancel so let's name this cancel and i'm just going to change the text to cancel we can just give it a reddish color something like this and that is for our buttons and let's use the prefabs this ui clan item that we just created bring it somewhere doesn't matter where just gonna expand that and copy the icon area just gonna copy everything that icon and let's just delete that paste it here and let's change it to this position so we can change the banner of our clan so let's see here we go i'm just gonna set this to zero and we can use this to create the clan's banner now let's use the other buttons and let's bring the button next and take a copy paste it here and I'm just gonna bring it up there so let's say zero 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 and this is going to be button join type next I'm just gonna duplicate this this is previous and let's drag it somewhere here so that's it and let's change the icon to this and let's also bring a text let's say page text and paste it here and this is going to be from here to here and let's set this to zero this is going to be join type and let's change the text to anyone can join and i'm gonna change the size to something like that well let's take a copy and duplicate that one and let's just bring it somewhere around here and i'm gonna set that to zero this is going to be button icon next and let's duplicate this and bring it here set this to zero this is going to be button icon previous so let's change the text to that 
and now let's take a copy from this button again and bring it somewhere like here and I think this is a good place let's set it to zero and this is going to be button minimum trophies next and I'm gonna duplicate this minimum trophies previous and let's bring it somewhere around here and now let's set these values to zero and maybe change the text to this and duplicate a text and bring it here so this is going to be the minimum trophies let's rename this to minimum trophies and I am just gonna set the value to zero let's duplicate this this is going to be minimum trophies text and I am going to bring it up here let's give it some space and set this to zero and maybe change the text to minimum trophies now I'm gonna duplicate this and do the exactly same thing for the minimum town hall so let's set this to zero this is going to be minimum hall next let's duplicate that bring it down here so set that to zero as well this is going to be minimum all previous and now let's bring down the minimum trophies and set this to zero this is going to be minimum town hall level and of course we can bring down the text so let's set this to zero minimum all text and change this to minimum town hall level so I think that is all for the create panel let's just go ahead and assign them I'm selecting the clan and from the top this is going to be the input field so that is the input field that is the confirm button that is the cancel button and let's open this that's the background the icon so this is the join type this is the trophies and this is the town hall and now we need to assign the buttons this is the next for the join type this is the previous next for the trophies previous for the trophies for the town hall previous for the town hall and of course for the icon this is the next for the icon and previous for the icon now let's go to the clan profile panel so let's disable this and collapse it now we have profile so for this one we also need an icon so let's just copy it from here and paste it here under the panel profile and I'm just gonna drag it up there so let's set that to zero so we also need a name so let's just bring a text let's just bring this join type and paste it here so this is going to be the clan name so I think this is good enough and let's change the text to clan name change the font size now we need a bunch of buttons let's just use the buttons we created this is button confirm I'm just gonna use that paste it here let's rename this to name so this is gonna be button join so let's change the text to join and I'm just gonna duplicate this and name it button leave 
and I'm gonna leave it to be on top of the join button I'm gonna put both of them in the same position and let's change the join color to something like that and let's now duplicate this one and bring it a little somewhere here and let's set the values to zero this is going to be button edit and let's change the text to edit and you can change the color to anything you want of course we need to change the text for the leave as well let's do that and let's also create another button i'm just gonna duplicate that and let's bring it somewhere around here so let's set this to zero and this is going to be button clans and i'm just gonna change the name to clans and you can change the color to something you want so that's it let me select the clans and start assigning the join button leave button clans button edit and name also the background and the icon so there is a list here called patterns we can just go to the sprites and drag the patterns one by one right now i've created four patterns you can add as many patterns as you want so that's it for our clans i think it is all done let me disable that and save the scene now i can just go and start the server and now let's go to the scenes and the start scene and play the game and here we go now we need to go and place the clan castle so we can just place it there but it needs i think it needs town hall level three so let's upgrade the town hall just gonna instant build it let's upgrade of course we don't have enough resources so to fix that let's go to the database and give ourselves some resources so here in the accounts well actually the buildings when i go find the town hall let's add some resources let's say fifty thousand gold fifty thousand elixir and let's go back and try to upgrade our town hall just gonna instant build it upgrade it one more time instant build and i think we can place the clan castle right now so here we go we click on it and we have a clan option just gonna click on that one by default it is going to bring the list of the clan right now we have no clans so i'm gonna create a new clan let's name it whatever so anyone can join or you can change the type now we can add the pattern of course we're going to add a bunch of other buttons later to change the color of background and this pattern and we can set the minimum trophies we can set the minimum town hall and we can just confirm and it says you don't have enough resources let's actually give ourselves some more resources so i think it needs forty thousand gold so let's say fifty thousand gold let's go back and now i'm gonna click confirm and this is it there is a little problem here this join button shouldn't be here so let me close this select this one and open this yes it is going to update this well we can take care of that later but for now whenever we are going to click on the clans now because we have a clan it's gonna bring the clans profile and we can edit the clan and we can go to the clans list here it is whatever it is the number one clan and let's go back and we can leave the clan with this button and if we leave the clan and try to create a new clan let's say it is going to give you an error that you can join a clan every 24 hours and there's one more thing somebody point out the fact that the zoom speed on the system with the mouse scroll is not fast enough so to fix that you can just go to the scripts in the camera controller and let's go and find the zoom speed i don't think it's here it should be in the update 
so let's take a look here it is if input the touch supported is false this is how our zoom is calculated we can just change this 3f to a variable let's say mouse zoom speed and let me copy that paste it here and let's go up there and create a variable out of this so here i'm just gonna say private float mouse zoom speed let's say 10 and let's make it serialized field and now we can go and play the game now we have a little faster zoom speed so let me pause this and i'm gonna select the camera maybe change this to 50 to see if there is any difference yes you can change that to any number you want but note that this is for mouse only this is for android so let me stop this and i think this is enough for this video let's go and create a clan oh and to bypass this error let's go to the accounts and here the clan join timer i'm just gonna set it to a previous date let's say a couple of days before and let's click ok confirm you don't have enough resources and here in the buildings let's say 50,000 and okay i think this is our clan so i know that i just copied and pasted a bunch of code of the entire video but you should realize just copying and pasting all that code took almost an hour so if i would have written that code myself during the video it would have been a 10 hour video and this video is already uh, boring imagine that so hopefully in the next video we can do more and maybe start matching the different clans with each other and start a war and stuff like that and i think when we finish the war system then uh, the game is almost finished then we can just start creating a better ui and optimizing different parts of the code and test it on a server so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching